Listen, I gotta get some swordless practice in. It's the only thing that I can really practice for this mode. So I'm not even doing any of the other settings. I'm just doing an open swordless. Because if I practice key sanity or MCS, I'm gonna get confused and it's just gonna be no good. Hi, Vitarp. Ugh. Oh yeah. Don't worry. I'll, 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 I'll load up the practice hack that I have and really get going. Really get some of that in. Eh, we'll route stupid today. Do, 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 do. Oh, my sign. Alright, fine, you get to live. Jeez. Show me bums. Please show me your bums. I'm just here for the bums. That's a heart piece. That's it. <laughs> Disappointing so far. That's why I don't like this route. Yo, way to go, Willard Games. Right on the money. Bombs? No bums. Oh, that's a good point, JP. We gotta... I'll put that in the Racing Console channel to see if we can get that fixed. Eh, we'll do this first. Why isn't the heartbeat in time with the music? What the hell? Bombs? Try not to run into my own bomb. After using this pack the other day, I was like, you know what? I need some more of this music in my life. So I went and I got some. And they're good. That's what I was playing for you guys earlier. Some good stuff. Three heart beeps when you're low on health. Then shuts up. Would it do it for, like, every transition? Kind of thing? Or, like, every... How would you do that? Aw, oh, regular B. I'll keep it though. Hey, it's my beautiful weapon. It would be kind of nice if it didn't beep constantly. But, <laughs> just don't get hit. Easy game. Hopefully I can get the win, the win today, and then my team can just relax for the rest of the week. Either way, today is my last race for this week, so... Then I can just relax and enjoy the holidays. I tried to look into setting up my tracker so that if I hit, if I right click on the sword, it would go backwards and then have like the little red X on it that I used to use on uh, a previous tracker. But I was too lazy to try and figure that out, so I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'm gonna peek this just because I'm low on bombs. Uh, I want it. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about my race today. I mean, it's basically all Dungeons Key Sanity. So it's going to be a longer mode. And longer modes tend to favor the more handsome player, so I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good. Maybe. Oh yeah. Okay, good. Oh, thank you, OJ. I appreciate it. <coughs> what is my stone prize? Fivers. Uh, I can't ruin that that good sweet dollary dough. No, no. The dollars they've ruined me. Glove. Okay, that's good too. That's actually better. See what my tier four is. Yeah, that's right. It goes up to tier four. I know. I know. Pretty crazy. I talked to the guys. They told me it goes up to tier four. But only for me. I'm special. What? He's already back. <laughs> Where do you come from? Smaller red X. True. The one thing that I, I, I need to relearn is because it's it's a progressive, so every time I right click, or every time I click it goes up, and every time I right click it goes back. I just need to refigure out how to set it so that like this setting that's on right now, where it's not highlighted or anything, that's the second stage of that progressive line. That's all I need to figure out how to do. To remember, I can get into Ega Tower as soon as I get the hammer. I don't need to do it in this seed because it's not key shuffle, but just something worth keeping track of. All right, we'll go Sashore next, I guess. I could have mirrored out and done Dark Cross, but. I don't want to do that if that ends up being... I mean, I don't really want to do Dark Cross in the dark. Without a sword. So, I guess I just gotta hope that Agonis Cave doesn't heck me. I think the plan for today is I'm going to do this practice then I'm going to do a little bit more swordless practice on just like bosses and stuff um, then I got my race 
And then I think I want to do Gang Beasts tonight. I think I have some people that are available to play. Yeah, I do have to be careful. Use the bee! No, get the other one. Okay. Okay, you can accidentally... hookshot the bee. Like shooting a Beemos laser by accident. Now, if we find a lamp, we could, <coughs> especially with this hook shot in hand, that's like immediately Dark Cross access. Or not Dark Cross, uh, Broken Bridge, West Dark World access. I just need a glove to show up. We'll do some fake flipper shenanigans, though. Just because I haven't found a... Um, well... Yeah, I've already committed to walking back now. I didn't mean it. Oh, the backstroke. Hand would be like really close to having enough. Let's go see what's on the ledge and then I'll go check Hylia Island and then uh, Mr. Underbridge Man. That's his name. It's a 20. Did I leave? I might have left Hard Item Pool on. No, I don't think so. I don't know what that is. Well, that might have been actually one of the swords. That would explain that why there's a 20. Hello, blue male. Okay, so we've got Agonist Cave and East Palace, that's it. So. Yay, funny. Exciting stuff. Dun -dun 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 -dun. A little quackish before. <sighs> One of these days, I'm gonna get ruined by Agonist Cave again. It might be today. Saha. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Felix? I'm doing alright. Just gearing up for my league race. Where I mean, right now the situation is I find Lamp, and all of a sudden I'm doing Aga Tower. I find Glove, and I have Dark World access. 
Uh, or I find flippers and I get upset. I'm just hoping there's just a glove in here, and I'm golden. Felix, there might be some gang beasts going on later. I feel like I remember you playing with me in the past, if you had that game, I think. Please advise. If you do have it, you're more than welcome to... I gotta get used to this feeling because I'm basically playing all Dungeons Key Sanity where it's nothing but last location progression over and over again. The dream. Okay. It's not here, it's Agonis Cave. Yo, what's up, Proto? Thanks for the good luck. Cool. That sucks. I don't know, I just... I don't know how you ever want to route in Agonis Cave other than it being last. What is Gang Bees? It's a, uh, it's like a, it's like a Smash Bros type game, but all you can do is jump and punch and pick up and throw. Mm. Did I pick up a glove and forget? No. Yeah. Well. I'm not talking about if I have boots. <laughs> if I have boots, it's a different story. Of course I'll go for it. Sooner than later. As you can see, though, I do not have the boots. Watch it just be the lamp. I'm ready for it to just be a lamp. To do Agate Tower. Yay! Now I can do Dark Cross! Thanks, game. I'd be down for some Gary's Mod stuff, too. I just need somebody to host, since I don't know shit about that. Hey, wait a minute. Agnes Cave had a fire rod in my practice seat the other day. What the frick? I hate fire rod logic. Dumbest shit ever. Dear Packmaker, the song's too loud. I couldn't hear me going down the stairs. <laughs> Shh. 
should have just sequence broke it. Ooh. Good start. <clears throat> what do we got? <clears throat> Pendant Skull, Pendant Mire, Pendant Pod, and T Rock is Crystal. please. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Uh, hmm. I'm almost tempted to go straight for Pyramid. Just because of a T-Rock being a Pyramid Fairy Crystal. It's not likely that I'm going to be checking Pyramid anytime soon. But I guess we can go to Thieves Town and Skull Woods. And then eventually wrap up and around. Do Graveyard Le Graveyard Ledge? Yeah, that's the correct term. And um drop in the bag of escape to get the two items that are back there. I also have to decide when I want to go sequence break up Death Mountain. So the only stuff we have left in Light World is Bag of Escape. For now. I guess I'll go Village of Outcast, Skull Woods, North Route. And just hope that there's nothing over in Pod, Catfish, etc. Yes, hello, Wadey. How are you, sir? Good luck on your race today, bud. Yours is a little bit more essential than mine. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Julem. What? How'd you get in there, sir? <laughs> He's in his little playpen. shaking. Boots? 
Well, five hearts is a little bit more comfortable. Get a Cheryl's or Crystal. Sure where he was. Powder, eh? Three dungeon items in the front. Hopefully we find mitts and I can just do smith chain, do all that together. Hey, check. That was a short nap, Jack. Was it good enough? Good nap? Don't tell me you skipped your nap to come watch me stream. Oh, your mom called? Aw, oh, hit him. Hit him. Yeah. Ignore the three chest turns I got in the front and just comment on the stair lag. Get out of here. I gotcha. Seed's too nice because I already have a fairy in a bottle. Could have gone better. Uh, 
<sighs> Do I check powder now? I mean, it only hurts me if the mitts are there. The problem, though, is I'm probably not going to come back to Village of Outcast until or come back to that area until I either get the mitts or get the flute. Hopefully I get the items in the front so I don't actually have to beat this dungeon. Take a death. Because I don't want to squander that fairy. That's helpful. Just get me out of here, please. Probably sequence break up Death Mountain. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Let me take a peek and see what this is first, just for that info. <gasps> I want those. Mm. Where's my cape? <laughs> my boots. I'm ready for Cape to be in GT. I need to play Link Between Worlds again sometime. The problem is every time I'm about to even consider doing it, I watch a speedrun of it and I'm like, alright, never mind, I'm good. Cape. Fifty bucks. Alright, I'll go ahead and go visit. I don't want to fit it visit catfish though. I don't have enough money. To do Zora as well. Stop watching speedruns. Okay. Yes, sure. Show me cape. No. No. So I'll go do Swamp then. Gosh, I wish I had the, the freaking boots though. That would be nice. we can go beat Eastern. Um, and we can do most of Pod. 
So I'll probably head that direction next. I don't know. Maybe a sequence break up Death Mountain is the right way to go. Man, if only I had an auto tracker that was tracking heart pieces, then I wouldn't have had to pause my game. Jeez, that would have been huge. Literal game changing moment right there. Sir? This is a Pokemon? Not a Wendy's? Uh, I might go do Catfish Zora now. After this. I can also go pick up that blue mail, which I think would be a good idea. So I'll do that next. Must be tracked in my head. What? I have currently zero heart pieces. There. Integrity restored. Ding, 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 ding. Sunjin sucks when you know the boots. Well, this dungeon just sucks in general. I can't believe they legalized Cape Underflow. Unbelievable. What will those crazy cartoon characters come up with next? What's the next big evil scheme? Because P Train posted the news announcement about it, I'm blaming him specifically. wasn't in Swamp, it was probably going to be in, uh, Turtle Rock. Say a swear. Um... Fuck. There you go. Where's Wadey? I need him here to point out more of my tiny mistakes that cost me frames. Come on. 
sweet ice rod. Mom, very sweary. That's my mill house impression. Ooh, this dungeon is kind of loaded. All right, Argus, just give me not the map, and we're we're good. We can be friends again. Ah, oh, look at all those frames I just lost. Oh man. Ah, nuts. Come down here. Aw, oh, man. It's not even a good... Well, he moving. Can we get a mod for this game that lets you move items around all willy-nilly in your menu? So I can just put hookshot and hammer next to each other? That'd be great. This is not gonna work either. I kinda did. Don't give me the map, okay? Okay, thanks. <clears throat> Alright, I need some Aria. <clears throat> I need some Aria. And mitts. This dungeon's already been pretty stacked, so... Swordless Z1R? No thanks. That just does not sound fun. At all. Not even in the slightest. Samaria. Well, that was a uh, good call. I wanted to go get that blue mail, but <clears throat> now the game's sending me this way, so. How did that miss? Mitts and maybe Bombos. Mitts and Silver for sure. Bombos, maybe. There's a lot of stuff in that in that desert. Also, we'll find out if we need boots. Have the cape, please. So that I can get the boots, please. Okay. 
logically don't need the boots. Yes, that is true. I could need other items to get other items. Very observant. <laughs> hmm. Well, there's the flute. Okay, so cape to get boots to get flute to get bombos and mire for... No, silvers are going to be in there, probably. Why did I pick swordless? I should have picked a fun mode instead of swordless. That was a mistake on my part. This is Ease 4, the Dawn of Ease. I don't think Retro is even an option outside of Mystery. It's definitely not. Retro is up there with Inverted. Conceptually good, but just not... It's not ready. It's not a mode that's ready. Do I go Pod Eastern or do I go Death Mountain? Looking for my mitts. Guess I'm going Pod Eastern. Issues with retro is the take any caves need to be like the same every time. That's the first issue I have. Like them being across a bunch of random spots, I don't think is good. do I have an issue with? I think the rupee bow is too expensive. At least, I think silvers are too expensive. If it, because it should match, I, I don't know why they made silvers super expensive. Because that just doesn't match with Z1 at all. Like, they're the same price in, Z in Zelda 1. There's nothing wrong with just having strong silvers. I mean, you're still spending money. Like, just have them always cost 10 rupees. Mm. 
Inverted's not finished just because there's a few things that I think need to be changed around. Which I've gone over several times. <laughs> I'd honestly be cool if they moved some overworld checks to the Dark World, maybe? Just to make it a little bit more balanced, because it almost seems like there's just not that much items you can get early in Dark World, so that seeds tend to be very linear at the beginning. I think it'd be good if you opened up a few more, like, ROM hacking options to it. Maybe. Death Mountain definitely needs to be fixed. Because Death Mountain sucks. Not only, like, saving the old man is a pain in the ass, but, like, East Death Mountain is just a train wreck for convenient routing. Should probably grab those bombs. Getting five keys in the front or four? Okay, good. I like that, because then I can just bomb jump. Well, like... It's worse, too, because it's not like you even have that save and quit point where you get a free heal. It just doesn't... I mean, it exists, you just don't start there until you get to the light world. I don't get that. What am I doing? I skipped a step there. Oops. Yo, what's up, Mecha Moose? What up, gamer? Okay, I need more than this. To I need... Um, I need silvers. I need mitts to show up. Any of those things would be nice. Hearts are great. That's not what I want. Yo, thanks for continuing that gift sub, Mechanus. Appreciate that. Sweet. That is huge. And there's one less thing I gotta worry about now. Now I just need the mitts. Yeah, I got a race in a little over an hour. All right, we'll go kill Helma. He has an item anyway, and green pendant, so. Who knows, he could just have everything I need. Getting hit twice there was not what I wanted. One of the modifiers, it's uh, all dungeons, map compass, small key shuffle, swordless, hard item pool, um, yeah, I think those are the main ones. And then it's just open... Do I like those? Uh, MCS kind of stinks. Um, I think I'd rather just have... Actually, I don't know. I don't know if I'd rather have it over Key Sanity. They're pretty similar. I'm starting to regret picking Swordless, though. But 
Hopefully the game's nice and we just get silvers really stupid early and I don't have to think about it. That would be most good. Not gonna happen, but if it did, that'd be nice. I guess the one upside about Swordless is that hard item pool still gives you silvers, because, you know, they're required to beat Ganon. And I don't want to hear any other words about it. Yeah, I picked Swordless. I kind of wish I hadn't, but... Yeah, the rules are set up so that game one is, I think, just open mode. Game two is casual boots. And then game three, four, and five are all the wacky settings. I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't know hardly anything about my opponent. Because they never stream. I have no footage to, like, base anything on. Because apparently, if they are practicing for this race, which I'm assuming they are, they're not doing it on stream. They're doing it offline. So. All I know is that DT beat them by nine minutes in their race last week, so. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's kind of similar to how they did the playoffs last season, where game three, four, and five are all the wacky modes. I think it's a good idea. It would kind of suck if all, all the matches were like crazy settings. It's kind of nice to relax with, like, some basic modes. Okay. I mean, we could get mitts right here. I don't remember the last time I had mitts for go mode, though, so this is interesting. I'm probably heading up to Death Mountain right away after this. That's also assuming I don't need Bombos. turning green pendant and then we'll I guess we'll head up the mountain Fascinating. So what are we leaving behind right now? Pyramid Catfish Zora. Magic Bat. Is there an all items mode where you have to get everything? No. There's some people that like to do the 216, which is get literally every check in the game. But those people are weird, so we don't we don't we don't talk about them.
So at a minimum, I need just the mints. That's it. And then I get to go mode ice and T-Rock. If I need Bombos... For T-Rock, then I have to keep looking. Um... I should probably get one of these upgrades, but... I'm too lazy. That'd be great. Yo, what's up, Shadow? This is probably a bad idea, but I want them, so I'm gonna go do it. can get the flute now, but I don't need it unless I need Bombos for T-Rock. How goes the practice? That's eh, alright. I'll probably load up the practice hack afterwards and run through some bosses. Yeah, I didn't want to do like a full on, like I didn't want to practice all the settings because I don't want to get them confused. I don't think that's a safe or smart thing to do. So I just did an open 7-7 seven, seven swordless just to get the swordless practice. Which is probably the thing that I need the most practice with. Can't really practice MC shuffle, or MCS shuffle. You're kind of just at the will of the game. Yay, boots! Wait. I want to check two things. Because we could get Mitz and Kings to him in this scene. It's possible. Mitz here would be hilarious. I'd be all for it. If, if it's Rehira, that'd be good, because I need the Aga practice anyway. Come on, man. Be interesting, game. Please. No. But yeah, about all I can ask for is just good luck against... or for my race. I guess I'm gonna hope that it's a harder seed with like low HP and I excel against my swordless bosses while my opponent doesn't. But then again, I really don't I really don't know what my opponent's capable of. Alright, we'll grab this and then we'll head back up to Death Mountain. Cause right now getting the flute out of desert does literally nothing for me. <laughs> Yeah, what's up, smokers? Hmm. Come on. Funny King's Tomb right here. Come on. Give me the mitts. Dang. Sankhart? Alright, 
Paradox Cave is next. Uh, right now, I just need the mitts. As far as I know, that's all I need. I just need the mitts to get into T-Rock and Ice Palace. We got our silvers. Um, I might need Bombos for T-Rock, but I won't know until I find the mitts. Zora Catfish would be bad. Pyramid would obviously be kind of bad. And also do... We'll do... Spike Cave 2... The first glove was hard enough to find. Yo, what's up, Sarah? Thanks for the good luck. <laughs> Give me an item so I don't have to do the basement. Thank you. Oop, uh. So annoying. Mitts are so hard to find. And I'm starting to regret not doing Catfish Zora, but after this wait, I mean, after this, all we'll have left is Pyramid Catfish Zora. Oh. 
<sighs> Good. Let's see if we're in go mode or not. Out and I got to skip three things. <laughs> Sorry, Zora. No can do, buckaroo. Oh, that's a good find, too. I mean, assuming if I am in go mode, the only other thing I would possibly want would be a bug nut. Just to make the egg fight easy here. <laughs> of course. Of course it's Bombos. Now the game's like, hey, have some fetch quests. But also, here's Bombos. I was a little worried I might have to go... Oops. Um... To Ice Palace, real quick. And it's like, okay, it's the funny, you know, Fire Rod leads to Bombos kind of thing, but... And then there was the potential of having to get the flute out of desert to go to Meyer, which is what I think Julian was asking for. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Still have a fairy in a bottle, so. I might go ahead and buy that, or pick up that blue mail. I wonder what's faster. Getting the one on Lake Hylia Island, or... I think I'll just... Yeah, I think I'm after this, I might just dash over and go get the one at Spectacle Cave. I should have got it in the first place, but I was lazy. You know what? Let's get neither of them. Look, we'll be fine. This game's easy anyway. Is this the race? No. Do titles mean nothing? Does anyone actually read a title of a Twitch stream? Am I wasting my time? I'm actually legitimately curious. How many people actually read 
titles of Twitch streams. What do you mean by random text spew? You mean like what I have? I want both of those things. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for the true skip. I'm just hoping there isn't a key in either big chest or in lava chest. Good sign. Proto, that's not even how you spell Fortnite. Come on. Well, in the context that you're using. I don't even know what to make of that title. What the hell is that? <gasps> the dream! Okay, now just give me a small key. No. Are you serious, game? You gonna hit me with that? Dude, really? Uh, are you serious? specifically mad at Phileon, because I think during some race he commented on not going for it and questioning why they didn't go for it. It's just never worth it. The time loss is too significant. Yo, what's up, Artero? Thanks for the raid, buddy. But hey, if I hadn't gone, if I had gone for it, if I hadn't gone for it, if I had actually gotten that chest instead, I probably would have skipped the bug net. And bug net is pretty nice in this mode. Hey, what's up, Anne? Mm -hmm. All right, save and quit. Go to ice. Hey, code man. How's it going, bud? I need fresh coffee. All right, we're going to try back to our strat. We're going to try it.
Didn't make a difference, really. Still got the same amount of hits, the 3-2. I guess if I was quicker, I could have gone for 4-1, but even then... So I would have been fine if I just stuck to Death Mountain. I am curious that at this point would um would would boots have made now that I know boots aren't required, I wonder if it was worth getting. I mean I'm happy I have them, so I'm not upset about that. But I wonder if the time I spent getting... Because if I had just stayed up on Death Mountain, instead of leaving to go get boots, I would have got mitts and then bombos. And would have saved another trip up. So I'm kind of curious if that was worth getting. Spooky music. See what this item is, because if it's the big key, then I can save some time. Nice. Now I don't have to hit the switch. I do is yeah I just gotta grab a small key out of the from that pot over there don't hit me unless this is a small key then I can save a couple more seconds nice cool well that was some smart plays from me See if I can get the hammer hit on him, and then just wailing him with fire rod shots. So I have enough time to do some hammer practice for Aga. So do you with the emblems being in the square? Uh, it's because this is swordless. 
So, um, normally you need a sword to use a medallion. Um, but there are no swords in this mode. So, to counter that, you they put those tablets there, those tiles there, to allow you to cast medallions inside Ice Palace without a sword. Otherwise, Bombos is completely useless in uh, Ice Palace. So they add the, added those to make it a little bit more... To kind of still keep with the, the trend of Bombos being applicable in uh, Ice Palace. So. I'm gonna do this. Didn't even move. The rocks crumbled at my Garfield. His stomach. He body slammed that. No, I didn't mean to da debunk. Oh, I didn't mean to bug again. Alright, Willard Games, what do you got for me, buddy? Eleven? Very well. How about one? Oh my god, the boots were required. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, well, that was a fast GT. Boots were on Bumper Ledge with Cape on Ether Tablet and Book in Big Chest Swamp Palace. The other interesting thing about that is that the flute was in was on the torch in desert, so. So some interesting stuff. Fortunately, I I I because the, the big key, or no, big key was in the diver down room in the back. But I decided to go back in for that last item, and I'm glad I did, because it was required. Holy cow, that was a lot of lag. Yeah, that would have been huge, because I would have full cleared this dungeon looking for boots. Or no, not looking for boots, looking for the cape. And then you'd still have to go back and do Swamp Palace. Or get the big chest out of the big chest. I doom out to Swamp. So that would have been... That would have been pretty rough. But yeah, I mean, I could have... I could have taken the cape from Ether Tablet and said, meh, and then just kept clearing Death Mountain. Or I would have found my mitts and then bombos. So. If I had found my go mode before getting the cape, I probably would have skipped out of the boots. To be honest. So, good thing I didn't. Almost had him. Mm -hmm. ah. 
<laughs> ow, ow, ow. Boy, this would have been a this would have been a great seed to restream. Shame. I think the interesting thing about this seed as well, aside from the boots thing, is that for it being normal item pool, um, this game was kind of stingy on health for a long time. I forgot, you can't do that. <laughs> it's okay, we're good. Do you want to get timed out? Because that's the fastest way to get timed out, usually. I hate the hammer hitbox sometimes. Okay. Was that a 3 2 then? What's up, Polly? Don't move. You moved. What did I say? Yo, what's up, Rocket? Yeah, that song was really quiet. <laughs> All right. 
This is a respectable... I'd say this is a pretty respectable time for open 7-7 seven, seven swordless. Especially with the shenanigans that it pulled off. And I didn't even need to... I didn't even need to go get those tunics, so... It's good. Good, good, good. 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 Alright, cool. So I got, like...